Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. I am Gideon Butler-Smith, a Bakerpedia influencer, and I'm here to share some baking wisdom with you today. Spring is here and summer is just around the corner. So right now will be some of the last few moments to get a deep clean of the bakery before the impending bun season happens and the festivities of summer. But why am I talking about cleaning? It's not clean label today, but rather HACCP. Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points, which is a program every bakery will most likely have and will be accompanied by other programs such as food defense, food fraud, and other quality-based food safety programs. Implementation of a HACCP plan in bakeries guarantees the safety of the baked goods produced. The considerations of the overall production process and seeks the process to find the risk of three categories of potential hazards, microbiological, physical, and chemical. Analyzing the process for these is the backbone of a successful HACCP program. HACCP programs are established once the prerequisite programs and good manufacturing practices have been successfully implemented. These two should address all of the concerns in the environment, and each concern normally has a unique program. These concerns are supplier verification, storage and distribution, personal hygiene, sanitation, integrated pest management, chemical control, sanitary design and maintenance, customer complaints and recalls, glass and brittle plastics, allergen control, and bear with me, temperature control. These are intended to fully guarantee the safety of the products by preventing the occurrence of potential hazards. Since 2015, all food facilities are required to have a food safety plan in place that must include hazards and risk-based preventative controls to eliminate or minimize identified hazards. This program is called HARP-C. But the seven principles of HACCP are the following. One is conduct a hazard analysis. Two is determine critical control points, CCPs. Establish critical limits. Establish monitoring procedures. Establish corrective actions. Establish verification procedures. Establish effective record keeping and documentation procedures. A lot of procedures and a lot of programs. Implementation of HACCP plans in the bakeries is not mandatory in the U.S., however. It does develop a trust culture and is encouraged by the FDA in all food manufacturing process industries. The Food Safety Modernization Act, FISMA, originated as an effort by the FDA to prevent potential foodborne illness by implementing actions that food companies must comply with to guarantee the safety of marketed products. In the EU, most food product providers must follow HACCP procedures as established by the EU Commission regulation. So, preliminary steps for a HACCP program. Assemble the HACCP team. This should include a diverse collection of employees from the production department, quality department, maintenance department, and others as they fit. The next step is description of the food product and its distribution. Analyze what products you produce and ship. A HACCP program for a cake producer will be very different than a bread producer and so on. Next, we go to description of intended use and consumer profile of the product. Being aware of the consumer and how they interact with the product will help you create the critical control points later on, the CCPs. Description of the process flow diagram, which describes the process steps and combined with that, an on-site verification of the flow diagram. Process flow and description of it won't just be useful for the HACCP creation, but years to come when managers are looking to better the facility. Sanitation of bakery facilities is one of the most important considerations to have while building a HACCP plan, as it significantly reduces the risk of potential biological hazards. Some critical sanitary and safety practices for bakeries are the following. Traceability of raw materials and auditing the suppliers. Appropriate sanitation of pans, mixing hooks, vessels, and conveyor surfaces 
to prevent buildup of bacteria and detergent residues, appropriate training for line workers, metal detection in the final stages of the production process. And while we're here, the most common physical contaminant is metal, as it's just about everywhere in a manufacturing facility. Baking temperatures and heating times for deactivation of bacterial pathogens identified in the hazard analysis step. And the most common biological threats to a bakery are salmonella, E. coli, and staphylococcus aureus, and mold. And while we're at the most common chemical contamination, that is allergen cross-contamination. Monitoring production process conditions for safety and quality control points is one of the last prerequisites. HACCP plans are a fundamental tool to guarantee food safety and so their development in a variety of areas of the food industry is expanding. Currently, bakeries are obliged to document and implement a HACCP program. However, their development guarantees the safety of the products made and may have an influence in consumers' trust and preference of products by providing them with a sense of security towards the company. From a commercial perspective, HACCP plans improve companies' trust in their products and reduce the potential risk of recalls due to unsafe product production. Well, that's it for Wisdom Wednesday today. Don't forget to download the HACCP plan for bakeries, baker paper, in the academy, that is the Baker Academy. And if you have any more questions, join us in the forums at LinkedIn and Facebook. Just look up the Baking Industry Professionals Group on these platforms. Till next time, bakers, bye.